This is food chain! And uh, in honor of it, we ate Jory. Uh, but it's okay, because she'll become us, as the uh, cartoon suggests. And she'll be animated by a completely different person. And not be in canon, and so on and so forth. Uh, how, how the hell do you even explain this one? This is, uh, it, it is written and directed by a different uh, animator. Did we get the name? I don't remember his name. Oh, nice. No, actually, I said I don't know his name. I you mean, know, like, I, I, but for me, you know what, personally, we were very harsh on Glitch is a Glitch, and we knew nothing about it. I think we should do the exact same thing with this. Well, I not know anything about the director. Exactly. Either. Okay, no, fair enough. I, I, know, I think that's a very Because people way did it. yell at us saying, you know, you know, why didn't, for one, why didn't you do your research? Which, by the way, I think it's pointless to do research on an episode. Sorry. Because then it gives everything away. Come on. So, I think, you know, for this, we should... Stop touching me. Uh, uh, thank you, Doug. Thank you, you're welcome. Uh, it's gonna be a very blue vlog. <laughs> yeah. We got on the blue screen right now, that's the way it's doing that. Hey, baby. Mm. So, no, I, I, I don't think we should do... Find out anything about him, so we're not. And that's fine. No, so, so we can judge it just uh, on what it is. Yeah. Um, uh, I think that's fine. Um, and we know it's not an April Fool's episode. Even if it was, I mean, I think we could. I think we can still talk about it just as as it, as it is. Um, it's an episode pretty much just teaching about the food chain, I suppose. Uh, it, it's Finn and Jake. They're at this. I guess caterpillar museum or something like that. I took it like uh, a natural history. Not no, what? No, uh, it was a caterpillar museum. It, it was oh. all about cat. Let's be caterpillars. Now you're gonna eat caterpillars. Uh, okay, gonna... Bree. We took Bree to numerous things where they have like the bubble station and the oh, that's the Willy tunnel. Wonka's factory. No, it's <laughs> children's museum. Yeah, stuff that's like that, where there's a whole yeah. bunch of yeah, different that interactive was really things. Great when she was okay, so maybe it was then. They're in the caterpillar part of that. We there's uh, a tutorial one. Yeah, no, I'm not complaining. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, caterpillar. Fuck. So I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> um. So they go and Magic Man is there, and he transforms. Don't we you stop? Uh, he transforms Finn and Jake into birds, and then into bigger birds, and then into, what was it, bacteria, and yes. then into... Plants. Plants. Plants, and then into caterpillars. It's, oh my god, it's the they, food chain, and no, you still didn't I, get it. No, because no, no, there's others. Like, okay, we have birds, and then bigger birds. I'm like, okay, was there smaller bacteria, bigger bacteria? Because that, no, that, no, that was the weird element No, no, the song explained it all. I, well, the song explained it all. Well, I was too busy ignoring it because it was so strange. That's why I do a strange things. So I'm okay. just like, I don't see you. Unex I accept. Um, so, yeah. And then the circle of life continues and they <laughs> sing a little song about it at the end and that's pretty much it. Um, way better than the damn Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> way better. Oh my god. You're so right. Uh, <laughs> well, it, I mean, what do you expect when you have Matthew Broderick as Timon? Oh god. I thought he was Puma. Oh <laughs> yeah, my mistake. <laughs> so, um, the, the first thing that jumps to my attention, honestly, is I actually really did like the animation in this one. Uh, whoever this person is. Uh, and it's clearly a different style, but it's, um,. I, I like sort of the shading of it. I like the motion of it. Um, it's it almost felt, parts of it almost felt Disney-ish, like in just how cartoony. Like when a bird eats the worm, it, it's very you know the mouth gets really big as well as and then the belly gets big and then it sort of goes small again. The head has to sort of it. I don't know. It's very flowing. Um, and uh, Disney is the only animation that flows. Uh, no, I said it's very Disney-esque. It just has that. Okay, let me put it this way. Continue. It, no, it wasn't like... Because Adventure Time animation is usually like very... It's very good on timing and, and comedy and stuff, where Disney animation, even though I, I love the animation, usually isn't. Uh, sometimes they can get a good one, but it, their comic animation is usually a little off. Um, with some exceptions. Like, Everest New Crew was kind of funny. Uh, the Land had some funny stuff. Um, but, yeah, so, so I dug that. The episode... It seems kind of pointless, and it seems very much sort of like a weird, you know, it, it felt very dreamlike. I, I almost swear I had a dream like this, honestly, just where it's like, now you're a bird, now you're a flower, now you're bacteria, now you, you just become things, and then it's like there's a weird little song about it. Or it's, it's, I don't know, my dreams are like that. Um, 
And it seemed kind of David Lynch-ish, if, like, David Lynch was more <laughs> upbeat, maybe. Um, so, but I like all that stuff, so I wasn't, you know, like, I, I liked it more than Glitch is a Glitch, because it was nice to look at, and it was just so bizarre and so surreal. Um, which I guess Glitch is a Glitch was, too, but it didn't feel... It, this one just felt so... I mean, it was awkward, again, I guess like how Glitch is a Glitch is, but it felt more comfortable in its awkwardness. It didn't feel like it was trying to... It didn't feel like it was trying to make you laugh constantly. Glitch is a Glitch felt like it was. Like, you know, and, and sometimes I'll admit I, I got a laugh out of it, but for the most part it's just sort of like, I think that I was supposed to snicker at that, but it didn't work. Where this one was more like just the feeling and the m mood is supposed to be kind of funny and strange. Um, so that's sort of what I took out of it, and I... I guess I liked it fine. I would have liked it if it did tie in somehow. Um, and I don't know. The whole just totally not connecting to anything. Um, it, in this instance, and, and with Glitch as a Glitch, at least Glitch as a Glitch was an April Fool, so I kind of get that. But when it seems like they're just going to keep doing this where they bring in guest animators just to do something that has nothing to do with anything. If they want to do that, that's their thing. I just feel it's like... You can connect it somehow, or if it's not going to connect, make it so so creative in how it doesn't connect. Like, at least Glitch is a Glitch was an April Fool's episode, you know, uh, which doesn't make me like it, but I at least respect it a touch more. Um, so I, I'm kind of all over the map with this. Uh, I, I liked it because it was animated so nicely, and it was just creative enough, and it had such a weird mood that I guess I enjoyed it enough. It's, it's not, like, one of my personal favorites, but, you know, it's... I, I guess I dug it okay. <laughs> That's my take. <laughs> yes? The one reason why it worked for me, unlike Glitch is a Glitch, is Magic Man. Magic Man, like, if you notice, like, up until Magic Man appeared, like, and change them into birds. It was kind of a normal episode. And the, the, the style was a little different, certainly. Like, well, the I'm saying storyline-wise. Yeah. Okay, the weird crap that these these characters go through anyways. A caterpillar museum? Are you really uh, that surprised? Mm -hmm. Remember? Yeah, no, no, no. It sounds right. Know. I mean, it sounds so like... So Magic Man happen. shows up and does poof, and then it goes all bizarre and crazy and weird and crap, and then at the end he goes, ka-change, and it goes back to normal. And it's like, okay... I kind of can accept that more well, than a glitch is a glitch. Wait, didn't they do the big song sequence at the end, though? I don't know if that was entirely going back. Well, yeah, that. but that's in his mind. The song <laughs> is in his okay, head. Okay, I missed that part. <laughs> no, didn't you see the, the reel start going? Yeah, and his eyes opened up, and then the lights came out, and then yeah. it turns into his... That was in his mind, watching. too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so for me, glitch is a glitch was just kind of like... There, you knew it wasn't canon. They made no qualms that it wasn't canon. It was just mm -hmm. kind of there. Which kind of, eh. With this one, at least, they tried, quote-unquote, <laughs> to make it canon. Because with Magic Man, any weird crap can happen. Mm -hmm. And it can still work because it's Magic Man doing crazy crap. Um, so for me, it actually worked better than Glitch is a Glitch because of that. If you took out Magic Man, and it was just this, I would have probably disliked it as much. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, it's nice to look at, and I love the music, um, but it did tend to drag, though. Yeah, there was a point where I was sort of, like, one or two of the endings, because it has a couple yeah. endings, really. I was sort of like, even though I was like, it, fine, I was kind of like, really? We're still kind of going? And yeah. it's, with an Adventure Time, they're only 11 minutes, and when you're sort of checking your phone at 11 minutes, it's, like, it's probably not a good sign. Yeah. I mean, I liked it. It was interesting. It was creative. Kids can actually learn something from this. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it did tend to go a bit longer than it should have, or at least it felt it did. And like I said, if it wasn't for Magic Man, I think this episode would have failed for me. Hmm. He's, he's like that piece that makes it, oh, okay, bizarre crap happens all the time. Whenever he's around, I can accept this. Mm -hmm. Like, if Magic Man was in Glitch is a Glitch, I'd be okay with it. Hmm. Like, if it was all because of him, like, Changing it into that, I would have been perfectly fine with it because Magic Man, he just likes screwing with things. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? I, I liked it. For me, it, I think the reason I liked it, um, it, first of all, the animation is so engaging. That yeah, I don't, it really is. I remember like halfway through 
the episode, I was like, it doesn't even matter that there's no point to this episode <laughs> at all because it's so cute mm. and there's just so much visually stimulating. It's all about it, the shading works. and the lighting. Mm -hmm. It's a like, wonderful motion too, but they say like particularly the song at the end, I mean it's like you really yes. th those lights were really I mean you just almost felt the lens flare off of it, you know? Yeah. Um for me it reminded me a lot and I know it's so stupid and you'll get it. But it reminded me a lot of uh Japanese films. Like it reminded me of Executive Koala a little bit. <laughs> You know, like when they're changing into the birds and the this, and and yeah. especially when Finn is like the giant, um, the giant bird, the bigger bird or whatever, and he's drooling and he's trying <laughs> to eat you his get friend. In my mouth. I, and I just, I don't know why, but I was like, oh my god! And then that end part, that weird uh, dance song and dance type part, it reminded me of Jisatsu Circle. Yeah. Where you know, oh the god, like the, the bowling alley, the musical scene in the bowling alley. Um, it, it it's just. It felt very Japanese to me in that it reminded me of a lot of Japanese um, uh, movies that I've seen. Not necessarily comedies or even anime, but like... I think Japanese. this guy is Asian and... Uh, no, a, a lot of those scenes, it's funny you were saying that, Rob at some point... Uh, showed me like these sort of uh, Japanese cartoons, like for little little kids, you know, sort of mm -hmm. like toddlers. And the style was very similar to like when they were the bacteria and when they were the caterpillar. It was very That's simple. Really it, it it almost looks like the lines are drawn by crayon, but like yeah. in a good way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it actually kind of works. Yeah. Um, and uh, but they kind of kept going back and forth, so I like that. It's like some parts it looks like the lines are crayon, other times they're very well shaded and they blend in very mm -hmm. nicely. Uh, so it's sort of a nice variety in there too, yeah, which I like. Um, I think that's what it has going for it for me particularly is that I can almost forgive the lack of story, and honestly, it's probably one of the most pointless episodes there are. Yeah. And, but for Even what, honestly, you probably even more than Glitch is a Glitch, really. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, I have to say, Glitch is a Glitch, for me, visually was, was uh, I mean, horrendous. It was hell. I, I just, for whatever reason, it assaulted my senses. I just couldn't take it. But really, if you think about the story itself, That's still it was a beginning, good middle, and story. Yeah. It was a decent story. This one has, like, nothing and yet i'm gushing but it's just again it it's distracted me from the fact that it has no story by giving me so much visual input to enjoy and not just to see but to actually enjoy so um. yeah i think i would I love the idea of bringing in different animators to do sort of different episodes and even if they sort of want to step out of the mold the adventure time mold it's like that's fine i I do kind of wish there was this more creative way to either tie it into a story or just make it, you know, the idea of them bringing in animators, just have it be so far removed. L like, if it always was an April Fool's thing, I would actually sort of understand that a bit more. I don't know if you can always do April Fool's, because they'd have to always land on that date. Yeah. You know, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm very up in the air about it, because it does seem like when you have just... Like, this guy really was a really cool animator and did some really creative stuff here. It's like, man, wouldn't you love to see that apply to something? Like, you know, just a dream sequence where Finn finds out something, or it doesn't have to even be part of a big story, but just something else that... Kind of, well, are you talking more like James Baxter? How we just came in and just animated the horse and did the voice? I, I, or... I don't mind if it's a whole episode done by a different animator, honestly. Or, or if it totally wants to submerge itself into style. I wish there's a little bit more connection as to making the reasoning a little bit more unique. Um, as to as to why or how it connects to anything. Um, like I said, even if they were all just April Fool's episodes. Um, but... At the same time, I guess I kind of respect the randomness of it, too, that they'll just do it whenever. I mean, it's just so strange. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like I said, I'm really, I'm really half and half on it, but I, I definitely like this one a lot more. I thought it was uh, very well animated, very creative, just a very, at times kind of boring, but still very mellow, surreal mood uh, that, that I dug and I, I thought was, uh, was enjoyable. I already said my thing. I said my thing. I said words. Yeah. I Dude. liked this better than Glitch is a Glitch, but they also gave a reason why this could potentially be happening. Um, 
I like even if you took the reasoning out, it's. I don't know if that still works. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I think it works technically well enough. Magic but... Man basically created a bunch of little people for Finn to play with. It's he true. could turn them into birds and caterpillars and stuff. I know, I know. It's like technically it works, but you know, better than like... glitch is a glitch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it... again, if glitch is a like, if they had like I said, Magic Man in the beginning of a glitch is a glitch, or the moment they put in that uh, floppy that Ice King sent them, and boom, it started to turn computer-generated. <laughs> yeah. No then reasons. I would have felt like yeah. it was a natural progression. Before know? Magic Man, though, what was Magic up with the opening? Man. What was up with the opening? Magic Man's already in our room. He's behind the couch. Wait, wait, wait. That's, how, that's why the opening is all weird and everything, because he's in the room of everybody watching no, the episode? No, just us. Oh, just us? Yeah. Also, oh, all the RP people, they didn't see that opening where, like... You then know, was Jake's making it with gun turn up. Yeah. Didn't know. Oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah. Do you feed him? Why? He doesn't need food. He can make his own food. It's true. Plus, he also feeds on your confusion. It's true. He's full. He must be very full. Poor guy. I'd say he's obese. <laughs> <laughs> really obese? I got nothing! Can we end this now, please? Don't do it. Keep going. This is painful. Just keep it going. And awkward. No, let's just stare at the camera so for like awkward. a good like minute. What do you say? Because the clock says, you know, seven, eight. Well, at ten, we'll go till, you know, full. Ready? Oh my god. Yeah!